Here are some tips to help you stick weld. Stick welding, also called manual arc welding, uses a stick electrode to weld metals together. When the arc is struck, the electrode melts to fuse two pieces of metal together. But before you strike an arc, let's talk about the electrode. Lincoln Electric manufactures electrodes for a full range of projects. These electrodes come in a wide range of classifications and sizes. This chart will help you select the right one for your project. The electrodes Lincoln Electric offers at retail locations vary in sizes. Select the size based on the thickness of the metal and the power of your welder. Now that you have the correct electrode, let's talk about how to strike an arc. Once you turn the welder on, the electrode holder becomes energized. Take precautions not to touch the exposed metal parts on the holder or the electrode to the metal until you are ready to strike an arc. Lincoln Electric electrode holders are insulated to help protect against making an unwanted electrical connection. But still, be cautious where you lay it when not in use. Now you're ready to strike an arc. But before you do, make sure you are following all safety protocols and wear proper personal protection. If you're just beginning to stick weld, it's recommended to use the dragging method to start the arc. With the ground clamp properly placed and amperage level set, insert the electrode into the holder. To start the arc, drag the tip of the electrode across the joint to be welded. Drag it like striking a match. This will cause the current to flow. Keep repeating the scratching technique until an arc is created. When the arc starts, withdraw the electrode to form a long arc, then return it to a normal arc length. The arc length should typically be the same as the size of the electrode. For example, a 1 8 inch electrode should have 1 8 of an inch between the electrode and the workpiece. Push the electrode holder down as the stick electrode is deposited into the welding puddle. Continue welding by pulling the electrode across the joint being welded, holding the electrode at a 5 to 15 degree angle. When you are finished welding, remember, the electrode and electrode holder are still electrically charged. Be careful not to allow either to touch the workbench or workpiece. So that's how to get the arc started, but what should you do if the electrode gets stuck? No worries, a stuck electrode is a common problem faced by those learning to stick weld. When this happens, Give the electrode holder a quick snap in the opposite direction that you were welding. This will generally unfreeze it. Then proceed with striking a new arc and continue the weld. Keep your welding helmet on when you work to unfreeze the electrode. There will be a flash when the electrode is released which could harm your eyes and face. If this doesn't unfreeze the electrode, release the electrode from the electrode holder and work the electrode free with your hand. Following these simple steps should give you a good start on stick welding. For more welding tips, view these other helpful videos produced by Lincoln Electric. Follow all safety protocols and wear proper protection equipment. And make sure to check out the complete line of Lincoln Electric welders, consumables, and accessories.